Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. This week's video, John is going to demonstrate two anchors to be used in a high angle environment for expedient patient access. First of all, a huge thank you to Kent Mountain Adventure Center for letting us use this gorgeous area to film this video. Uh, it's really appreciated. Their website is down below if you wanna check it out and you wanna come out here and enjoy some of the Rocky Mountains. John here is a professional SAR team member. He is on our special operations response team. He's also a climbing instructor, has a lot of experience behind him in this realm. So one of our mission sets on our special operations response team is to make access to patients in a high angle environment. So if somebody's fallen down a cliff or a ravine, we usually try to get there and get to them as fast as we can to stabilize them and initiate medical care. We're not doing the big extrication. We're not doing high angle rescue per se. We just need to get to the patients as fast as possible. So in this week's video, John is going to demonstrate two different anchor types, how to tie them, how to ev evaluate the site to make quick access to your patients if you do have to repel off a face. So the first anchor I'm gonna do is often called a shoelace knot or a shoelace anchor. Um, it's a super quick and dirty way to just come up to a big natural anchor, like a big healthy tree like this and build your primary anchor off of. Um, so I'm gonna do it. There's a lot of things you could do this with, cordelette being one, like seven mil cord would be great. Um, anywhere north of that would also be really great. I wouldn't go too much lower than that, like the six mil accessory cord is just getting too thin. Um, so ideally, I'm gonna take my Dyneema runner, I'm gonna half it, so take it down to about double here. And then I'm just gonna come up to my tree. As I'm looking at the tree, the reason I identified this one as one that I would wanna use is it appears to be big, healthy tree, super good root system, bomber. Um, the width of the tree is super important. General rule of thumb, especially for just kind of building these um, natural anchors off of one point is gonna be, you really don't wanna use anything that's thinner than your leg. So thinner than your quad, um, just standard human quad. Um, you don't wanna go much thinner than that. That's just too narrow, um, too narrow of a safety margin for us. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wrap this around the tree. And then, so I've got this, I'm pulling even tension on both sides. And then as I come across, I'm just gonna tie it just like you would start your shoelaces. Cinch that down, hold on to my middle. This is what's gonna become my master point. I'm gonna put a locker on, put a second locker on, and then right, just, that's it. That's super quick, single point. Um, I can feel really, really good about this anchor going into it. So um, that's gonna be one anchor that I would certainly look to do. So this other anchor that I'm gonna do is just gonna be a bowline right around the tree. It's gonna be a rope only system. We're taking the other anchor out of the equation. So I'm just gonna take the rope, wrap it around the tree, down here by the base. I'm gonna take a little loop right here. So I'm just gonna tuck this right underneath, take the end of my rope, that's gonna go up through that little loop that I created. And I'm gonna take the end right here. That's gonna come underneath the long slack end that'll end up repelling down. That's gonna come through and then right back down through that same opening that I created. Cinch that down. I'm gonna tie a backup knot here Get that out of the way, tighten that down. And then what I'm left with is just a really nice, strong anchor off of this super beefy static rope. 
that I can feel really good about getting on here, feeling good about my anchor point and feeling really good about the anchor system as I try and get down to whatever the situation is that we need to get access to. So this other variation on the bowling is essentially it's the same knot. You're gonna tie it basically the same way. It's just um, a kind of a beefier anchor system versus doing that sort of single strand bowling. You tie it the same exact way where I'm just gonna make a slight variation of doubling the rope up. I'm gonna wrap that around the tree staying nice and close to the base again here and then make that loop i'm going to come up through the bottom of that loop come back underneath here and then that's going to go down through the opening we're going to cinch that down, tie that off over here. If I'm really concerned about that coming undone, I can grab a locker from somewhere and then I can attach that on and then I'm good to go. If you have uh, any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and Sam will get back to you next week.